I'm Dr. Joe DeMarco, chiropractor and owner of Oak Bed Health, and today we're going to work on developing the serratus anterior. Now this is the muscle that I always felt was made famous by Bruce Lee during his fight scenes. He'd take off his shirt and you would see these crazy muscles up along the side. Uh, it looks like his ribs were popping out. Matter of fact, when I was a kid, I, I used to see bodybuilders of Bruce Lee. I used to refer to it as like, wow, look at those rib muscles, you know, that's the serratus anterior. So let's take a look quickly at the anatomy of it first. So here's the anatomy of the serratus anterior. It originates off the first to the eighth, sometimes ninth rib, and it inserts into the entire anterior length of the medial border of the scapula. Therefore, the primary action is that it pulls the scapula forward around the thorax. All right, so there's the anatomy. Here it is, the serratus anterior, they're, they're up in here. They're actually, when you feel it, it actually feels hard because the muscles are right around, wrapped right around the rib. And they call it the boxes muscle because of that motion of how it pulls, the, how it makes the scapular ro uh, rotate around the thorax. So that muscle, in order to make your scapula come around like this, like you're throwing a punch, that serratus anterior is what is contracting when that happens. So the muscle, the serratus anterior contracts and that scapula comes around the thorax. So that's why they call it the boxes muscle. When you're throwing a punch, the serratus anterior is involved. So that's the muscle right in here. You can see it right through here. It's covered by the pec and the lat in some respects, as you can see on the anatomy. It went from the first through eighth or ninth rib. You're not gonna see all of it uh, even on the most defined individuals because it is covered in some respects, but it's right through here and it's contracted when you do this type of motion. So we're gonna exercise it. Now we're not gonna get out of hand with the serratus anterior. We don't have serratus anterior day like we have chest day and I do back day and we do leg day. There's not, there's not gonna be a serratus anterior day. It's a minor muscle. Uh, it's just something that we wanna work on for more like finishing touches. So what I do is usually do is I kick in the exercises I'm gonna show you kind of on at the end of my ab workout on, on you know, uh, maybe a couple days a week, three days a week, you know, just, uh, you know, to, to just kind of work and touch upon it. Uh, you, you do work the muscle just on your normal workouts. I mean, when you're, when you're working chest um, days and stuff, when you're pressing on your chest press, at the end, if you're really contracting and pushing out through your chest, you know, you're going you're gonna to get that contraction through the serratus anterior. So you are working it during other parts of your workout, but it's good to just a couple days a week, I try to just tie it and focus on it because I think it's a muscle that, uh, is important uh, if you're a bodybuilder. It, 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 when that serratus anterior jumps out, uh, it looks great. So I do kind of touch upon it uh, during, uh, during during certain parts of the week. Like I said, a lot of times I'll put these exercises I'm about to show you at the end of my uh, ab workout. So let's take a look at uh, how we're going to work that serratus anterior. Okay, so here's the exercises we're going to do. All we're going to need is ex an exercise band and a doorknob, and we're good to go. So here's how I wrap it around the, the doorknob, just so you can see. I wrap it around one side of the doorknob, I come in front of the door, and I wrap it behind the other doorknob. So it comes out like that. Make sure both sides are, the tension is even on both sides. And then what I do is I'm going to stand in front of it. And I'm going to press, I'm going to press out on the band, and I'm going to bring it out to full tension. So from this position, what I'm going to be doing for this exercise is I let the shoulder blades come all the way back. I keep my arms straight, but I let the shoulder blades come back. And then I think of pressing the scapula and have them basically straighten out my arm and push as far forward as I can to try to rotate that scapula around my thorax so that, that serratus anterior is contracting. So the motion of this is very subtle. I bring it back and then I push as far as I can. And I'll actually hold this uh, and I'll do it for 10 counts. So I'm gonna come across, I'm gonna hold it for a 10 count, and the whole time I'm counting for, to 10, I'm just pushing my hands as far forward, trying to touch the wall in front of me, and I'm holding it for 10 seconds, and then I let it all relax, and then again. And I'll do that actually for 10, 10 repetitions, where each repetition I'm holding it for a 10 count, and as you can see, as you're doing that, the serratus anterior is working as it's trying to contract to pull that, that scapula around the thorax. So that's the motion. It's, arms, it's important parts, arms have to be straight. And the um, motion is thinking of pushing the hands forward and just holding for a count of 10. 
So three sets, 10 repetitions, each repetition you're holding for a count of 10. After I do that, what I'll do is I'll actually take the, I'll take the band and I'll just basically, let me show you on this side, I think you can get a better view. And after that, what I'll do is I'll take the, the band, I'll leave it right along the doorknob, I'll just kind of double grab it, and I'm gonna do like a punching action. So I'm gonna just stand square, bring this, I'll let this draw my, my shoulder back this way. So I'm letting my chest and shoulder get drawn back this way. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and I'm gonna push forward in this respect, like that. So I'm gonna let it bring me all the way back. I'm basically just doing like a punching action. So I'm letting the scapula draw back, my chest and shoulder draw back, and then I'm thinking of just pushing to the wall in front of me. Once again, I'm contracting really high through here. I'm gonna do this the same thing. I'm gonna hold that for a 10 count, and I'm gonna punch 10 times. So I'm gonna push through, hold for a count of 10, and bring it back. Three sets of 10 here, three sets of 10 on the other side. That's how we're gonna work the serratus anterior. All right, so give those exercises a try, work them into your different parts of your workout. Like I said, I do them on, uh, at the end of a uh, couple ab workouts during the week, but you can put them in as a finishing exercise on chest day or whatever you want, but give them a try and try and let's uh, develop some eye-popping serratus anterior muscles, okay? These are the type of things we go over at Okra Med Health when you sign up for our 90-day fitness program. We're gonna build lean muscle without the bulk in a safe and effective manner, keeping you injury free, paying attention to all the little things, that's what we do. And go to my website if you're interested, www.okramedhealth.com. If you want just a, a little bit of a taste of, of what our 90 day program's like, you can also order my ebook. It's called The Accommodation Avoidance System, how to train heavy with weights and avoid uh, plateaus. You know, we all work out and we, you know, we get stuck on, on our deadlift, on our squat, on our bench press. We can't get over plateaus. I'm going to teach you in the accommodation avoidance system how to avoid plateaus. It's in my ebook. It's once again, that's also on my website, www.okramedhealth.com. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Okra Med Health. Questions about exercises or injuries, leave a comment in the comment section below. I always get back to everyone who writes in. And don't forget, Okra Med Health is here to keep you fit forever.